Now welcome back to my channel. So I'll be making use of this little fabric I have here to make a crop top, a boss crop top. So I folded my fabric into four using my boss measurement plus allowance. Okay, so you can fold your fabric using your boss measurement plus two inches allowance. So here is my starting line. Here is my starting line. So I'll take my shoulder measurement. My shoulder divided by two is seven inches. Then my neck width, I'm cutting the back and the front together. My neck width is three inches. Then I'll take my shoulder slope, one inch. I'll connect it to my neck width like this. Then from the slope, I'll take my armhole measurement. My armhole divided by two is seven and a half inches. Then here is my boss point is 11 inches. Then I'll take my half length. That is my waist from my shoulder to my waist is 16 inches. Then I'll add about one and a half inches to two inches for the folding. I'll be adding one and a half inches here. Yeah? If you want it to come down a little, you can increase the length a little bit. So at the armhole, I'm going to take my bust measurements. My bust divided by four is 9.25. 9 then if you want your bust, around your bust to be a bit free, you can add half inch to it. But if you don't want it to be free around your bust area, you can leave it at your exact bust measurement. Then you add one inch for the sewing allowance. But here I'll be adding extra 0.5 inch for ease. Then I'll add one inch for my sewing allowance. Then I'll mark my half armhole I'll mark the midpoint then go in by 0.5 then connect to my bust For the back neck depth, I'm using 1.5. And for the front neck depth, I'll be making use of 5 inches because I'm not going to be needing a zipper for this top. You can add, if you want your top to have a zip at the back, you can add your zip allowance. That means you cut the back and the front separately. Here is my front neckline. I'm going to take this part to my waist, all my measurements, my bust plus the ease plus my sewing allowance. I'm going to take it straight to my waist because it's a free top. We are going to cut out the back first.
and I'll cut out the front neckline. I'll be cutting the two sleeves together. This is folded into four, and this part is folded. So I'll be using my armhole measurements divided by two, and I have seven point five inches plus one inch sewing allowance. I have eight point five. Here's my eight point five. So my cap height is. Four inches. Here is three point five. I use this method a lot for my sleeve. You go down by one inch. The length of my sleeve, I'll be working with the fabric I have here. I have, okay, this is 8 inch. This means I'll be using 7 inches for the sleeve length and 1 inch for my hemming allowance. That is 8 inches. And the roundness of my sleeve is 12 divided by 2. I have 6 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance and I have 7 inches. Then I'll connect it to this point here. So here is my sleeve and I'll notch the middle. I'll be using bias to pipe the neckline. After piping the necklines with bias, I'll be joining the shoulders with half inch. For the sleeve hem, I'm going to be folding half inch inside and half inch again for neat finishing. Then I'll attach it to my armhole. I'll be linking the tutorial on how to make a shot on the description. For those that have not seen the video, I have a tutorial on how to make a shot. So here is my boss crop top. So you can wrap this top in many ways. If you don't want to rock it with a shirt, you can rock it with a skirt. Or you, so you can wrap this crop top in so many ways. Okay? And I said before that if you want it to be longer or shorter, it depends on it depends on your choice, it depends on the length you want. So you can make it a little bit longer if you don't want it to show your tummy or you can make it shorter, okay? So here is my crop top. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share.